What's going on everybody, it's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. And the MCU has a new chronological order lineup. Disney Plus has revealed and updated the official chronological order and has told us the official way to watch all of the films from start to finish of the MCU. Now, there are 33 projects in here, and I say projects because some of them are movies and some of them, of course, are Disney Plus shows, and some of them are actually one-shots. Some of you may know what the one-shots are. They're quick little clips that are usually only a few minutes long, but they just give us a little bit more context of what has happened in movies or TV shows, and there are several of these now listed on the chronological MCU watch order. And again, these are posted to Disney Plus, which means they're actually kind of crucial for the watch order and Disney Plus is stating you need to watch them. And I'll be talking about when Spider-Man Far From Home and No Way Home take place in the MCU, as well as when all of the Marvel Disney Plus shows take place because they're not in the order which you would think. So we have the new official chronological watch order for the MCU. Let's get into it and see what it is. And of course, if you want to stay up to date on Marvel and the MCU, be sure to subscribe. Now, like I said, there are 33 projects here. However, there should be 36 because the Spider-Man films are not listed because of course they are not on Disney Plus because Sony owns them. But we pretty much know when they take place, so we can throw them in there, that's no big deal. So the first one, I know there has been some debate on which movie you should watch first for the MCU. Well, Disney is coming outright and stating it. Captain America, the first Avenger, is the first film that you should watch if you want to watch the MCU in chronological order. Now, the second one is where they throw kind of a curveball. The second one isn't Iron Man or Captain Marvel. It's actually the short Agent Carter. It's a 15 minute one shot where Agent Carter joins S.H.I.E.L.D. and battles with her boss, Agent Flynn. And according to Marvel, this is the second thing that you need to watch. And it is worth noting that there are several one shots, but not all are included on this list, which means some of them aren't canon to the MCU, specifically the one shots Team Thor Part 1, Team Thor Part 2, and Team Daryl. Then we get to the third project that you should watch, which is Captain Marvel. From here, things kind of make sense. We go from Captain Marvel to Iron Man, Iron Man 2, but then we're stopped again by a Marvel one-shot. This one is titled, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Thor's Hammer. It's a little short, about three minutes long, that shows Agent Coulson on his way to the middle of the desert to go find Thor's hammer. On his way, he stops to get gas, and then the gas station is robbed. Well, he's a trained S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, so I'll let you guess how that one ends if you haven't seen it. So that is the sixth thing you need to watch, with the very first Thor film being the seventh. We are then interrupted again by a one-shot called The Consultant. It's a three-minute clip of Agent Coulson and Sitwell conspiring to stop General Ross from meddling in S.H.I.E.L.D. affairs, and they get Tony Stark involved. And once we are past this one shot, we are now set to watch the very first Avengers film. This takes place after the events of the very first Avengers film where S.H.I.E.L.D. is recovering all of the items of the Chitari. They recover all of them except for one, item 47. It turns out a couple has found it and they are using it to rob banks. But then after that, we watch Thor The Dark World and then Iron Man 3. Now, Iron Man 3 had the fake Mandarin. He returned in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and if you were wondering what kind of happened after Iron Man 3 and before Shang-Chi, then you can watch the short All Hail the King. And this pretty much wraps it up for the one-shot list. They pretty much ended their one-shots after All Hail the King. So from here, we just dive into the true chronological order of movies and shows. So after Thor, The Dark World, Iron Man 3, and All Hail the King, we get into Captain America, The Winter Soldier. And after Captain America, The Winter Soldier, I've heard a lot of debate on what should come next, and it gets a little bit muddy, but here's the proper order. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, immediately followed by Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Those are the chronological order of events in the MCU. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, then Volume 2, immediately followed by The Avengers Age of Ultron. Then we have our very first Ant-Man film. After that, we have Captain America Civil War. Now, Captain America Civil War set up a few different films, the three films being Black Widow, Black Panther, and Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, Disney Plus has the order listed after Captain America Civil War as you watch Black Widow next and then Black Panther. Now, as far as when Spider-Man Homecoming takes place, there was a really big debate. This is because there is a mistake in the film. 
In the prologue of the movie, it states that it takes place eight years after the Battle of New York, which is wrong. Because that would mean the film takes place in 2020, which we know it doesn't. And the president of Marvel Studios has confirmed that that was an error. In Avengers Infinity War, Tony Stark states that it's been six years since the Battle of New York, meaning Infinity War, which takes place after Spider-Man Homecoming, takes place in 2018. So this would mean that the events of Spider-Man Homecoming take place in 2017 or 2018. And again, this is not on the official chronological order on Disney+, Plus because Sony owns the rights to the film. So after Civil War, it says Black Widow, Black Panther, and then Doctor Strange. After that, we have Thor Ragnarok. And this is where things really build up to Thanos. And one would think that Thor Ragnarok was the last film right before Infinity War because Thanos shows up at the end. And Infinity War pretty much picks up where Thor Ragnarok left off. But you have to watch Ant-Man and the Wasp before Avengers Infinity War. That is how Disney Plus lists the chronological order. And that is because the entire film of Ant-Man and the Wasp actually takes place before Infinity War. It is only the post credit that takes place during Infinity War. Several months have passed between the actual movie and the events of the post credit scene. So watch Ant-Man and the Wasp right before Avengers Infinity War. And of course, like I've been stating, you then watch Avengers Infinity War. And then of course you watch Avengers Endgame immediately after. Now from here we get into Marvel's Phase 4, which introduces the Disney Plus shows, which are all canon to the MCU. They all happen within the MCU. And according to Disney Plus's chronological timeline, the project to watch after Avengers Endgame is the Loki series. I think many people expected WandaVision to be the next project right after because it's the first one that we got, but remember there was a lot of rescheduling going on because of the pandemic. So after Avengers Endgame, you watch the Loki series. From there, you watch Marvel's What If. Now, some people think that What If might be irrelevant on the MCU timeline, but remember, it all connects. And I wouldn't be surprised if we actually see some of these characters from Marvel's What If in Multiverse of Madness, because anything is possible, and this animated universe is just simply a different universe in the multiverse. So after Marvel's What If, then we have WandaVision. Immediately after that, we have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Then we have Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Then we have Marvel's Eternals. And then we have the Hawkeye series. Now, of course, the two films that are missing here are Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man No Way Home. And based off of what we know about where the film takes place, it takes place in the winter of 2024. Now, we're not really sure where Hawkeye takes place, but it either takes place right before Christmas in 2024 or in 2025. Either way, the events of Spider-Man No Way Home happen before Christmas. We know this because MJ is taking down the Halloween decorations, which means it takes place right after Halloween before Christmas. So either way, the events of Spider-Man Far From Home and No Way Home should take place before the Hawkeye series, making Hawkeye the very last project of Marvel Studios' chronological order up until this point, of course. And this, according to Disney+, Plus, and which of course is Marvel, is the right chronological order to watch the MCU. I know there's been a lot of debate between fans on what the actual order is, so if you disagree with this and you have a different order, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you're planning on watching the entire MCU saga all over again, here's how to do it. So let me know what you think about this video and the order in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.